My name is Valentina V, and I am a creative content director. I produce, direct, shoot, edit. I pretty much do everything except for makeup and composing. If somebody reaches out with a really cool project and they want to work with me, we start with the idea. I like starting with the idea instead of starting with the budget because I want to know, okay, how ideally, if budget was no issue, would you like this to go? I can create something as a one-woman team, but if you want to go bigger, if you want to expand, I will bring in my crew. I will bring in my director of photography. I will bring in my editor. I will bring in my producer, and we will make it together. And it it's very different for every type of client. But overall, my main goal when I work with a client is, what is your idea? And how do we best convey that idea to the audience that you want to reach? On digital, audiences have become so niche that it's important to understand what does that audience want? What are the other videos that audience is watching? What are the other things that audience is excited about? What are the things that the client is excited about? And how do we merge that? So that's what I bring to the table, is a knowledge of each of these platforms and the different formats that work on these platforms and how to match the client to the platform to the format. I'm getting better at managing my time being a freelancer because it's really tempting to just go for anything shiny, especially if you're someone like me who lives in Los Angeles. The way that I've decided to manage my time is to pare it down to five categories. So I will only accept a project if it's one of the five categories, and if it isn't, then I'm not doing it. So my five categories for accepting a project are, is it a cause or a charity or am I spreading awareness for something? Am I helping a friend? Uh, making my network and my community better? Um, is it a big brand that I can put on my resume so that I can do one and two? Uh, is it affording me some sort of travel opportunity? And finally, is it giving me some sort of knowledge, some sort of skill that I didn't have before that I can learn either from other people or is it giving me a challenge? I'm really excited about the new After Effects release because there is a game changing process called Master Properties. A lot of times when I create a main composition and I have my pre-comps inside of that composition, I want to change just one thing in that pre-comp, but unfortunately because it's a pre-comp, every single layer links into the same pre-comp. So whenever I want to change, for example, a color, it changes them for all the pre-comps inside the main composition. So with Master Properties, you're able to assign an expression control to whatever property you want. So I can put a color expression control into my pre-comp, and then when I put it into my main composition, I can duplicate that a bunch of times, and then for each pre-comp, change the color of one certain thing, or change the location of one certain thing. And it just makes my workflow so much faster, so much better. I know Premiere is coming out with a lot of really cool features with this latest release, but two that I'm really excited about are auto-ducking. So no longer do I have to, you know, make the sound louder for the music, quieter for the voice. It will automatically do that for me. It's gonna save so much time. And another feature that I'm super excited about is color match. When you have an interview and you're doing two cameras, maybe it's not the same camera. And going into Lumetri color before and trying to match it with my eyes and trying to look at the highlights and the mids and the lowlights and trying to match everything took so long. And now it's one click of one button. That's amazing. There's so many new features that are being rolled out in this latest Creative Cloud release that I'm super excited to use. If you're young and you're sort of in a rut, and nobody will hire you, and you don't know what to do, just realize that you have the capability, you have the skills, or you can learn the skills. Just because other people aren't hiring you doesn't mean that you're not good and doesn't mean that you're not valued and you're not worthy. So do your own projects. Find people to hang out with who are interested in the same things as you. And trust me, eventually, people will want to work with you, people will want to hire you, and you'll be able to build out a career for yourself.